Would you mind taking a moment to reflect on a time when you were deeply hurt by someone close to you? Understanding these experiences can help you grow and connect on a deeper level. Forgiving someone who has hurt you can be a difficult and challenging process. It's natural to feel angry, hurt, and betrayed when someone has wronged you. Forgiveness involves letting go of feelings of anger, resentment, and the desire for revenge towards someone who has wronged you. Forgiveness is a powerful tool for emotional healing. Holding on to anger and resentment can lead to increased stress, anxiety, and depression. Research has shown that forgiveness can have positive effects on physical health. Letting go of negative emotions can lower blood pressure, reduce stress hormones, and boost the immune system, leading to better overall health outcomes. Forgiveness is a transformative process that promotes psychological, emotional, and relational well-being. While it may not always be easy, cultivating a mindset of forgiveness can lead to profound healing and positive life changes. Holding on to grudges can strain relationships and create barriers to meaningful communication and connection. When individuals hold grudges, they often remain stuck in past grievances, unable to move forward or experience emotional healing. Holding on to grudges consumes mental and emotional energy that could otherwise be directed toward personal growth and self-improvement. It can prevent individuals from learning from past experiences, developing resilience, and cultivating positive coping mechanisms for dealing with conflicts and challenges. One way to start the process of forgiveness is by acknowledging your pain and allowing yourself to feel it. It's important to validate your emotions and give yourself the space to heal. Be kind and gentle with yourself as you navigate the forgiveness process. Understand that forgiveness is a journey and may take time. Practice self-compassion by treating yourself with the same understanding and empathy you would offer to a friend facing a similar situation. Try to see the situation from the other person's point of view. Consider what might have led them to act in the way they did and empathize with their feelings and experiences. This shift in perspective can help foster empathy and understanding, making forgiveness easier. If possible and appropriate, consider communicating your feelings to the other person. Expressing yourself calmly and assertively can help facilitate understanding and resolution. However, ensure that the conversation is constructive and aimed at finding mutual understanding rather than blaming or attacking. Engage in mindfulness practices such as meditation, deep breathing, or mindfulness exercises to help calm your mind and reduce emotional reactivity. Mindfulness can create space for clarity and reflection, making it easier to approach forgiveness with a calm and centered mindset. You should shift your focus from dwelling on the negative aspects of the situation to identifying positive aspects or lessons learned. Consider how the experience has contributed to your personal growth, resilience, or ability to empathize with others. Forgiveness does not necessarily mean forgetting or condoning harmful behavior. It's important to set and maintain healthy boundaries to protect yourself from further harm. Clearly communicate your boundaries and expectations moving forward. You should not hesitate to seek support from trusted friends, family members, or a mental health professional. Talking to others about your feelings and experiences can provide valuable perspective, validation, and support during the forgiveness process. Forgiveness provides various advantages that enhance emotional liberation, healing, and general well-being, establishing it as a beneficial technique for personal development and favorable life results. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more content on personal growth and self-care.